Hello friends. In this lecture, we are going to study the half wave and full wave rectifier circuit. This particular method is used for the high DC voltage generation. And this is the method from the chapter generation of high voltage and high current. <music> high voltage is basically classified into four simple categories a uh, high dc voltage that is which generates the output as dc high voltage another is high ac voltage of power frequency that is the frequency of that is of 50 hertz as per indian standards so the output will be high ac voltage but the frequency is same as of input that is 50 hertz. The third is the generation of high AC voltage of high frequency where that frequency is required as per the requirement that the frequency can be generated. And last is the high transient or impulse voltage. So let us start with the first classification that is high DC voltage generation. In this direct current voltage generation, which can be used for different applications. The applications which are mentioned here, like in pure and applied physics, where they need that DC voltage, high DC voltage. Then for the testing of insulation of cable and capacitor. Even in case of the charging of impulse generator, where that voltage starts from 100 kilovolt to 200 kilovolt. Now, this high DC voltage generation methods are classified into four different categories. The first is half wave rectifier, full wave rectifier, voltage doubler circuit, and voltage multiplier circuit. Let us start with the first method called as half wave rectifier. This is the simplest method which is used in case of high direct current voltage generation. Consider the circuit where there is a high voltage transformer placed. Where the input to this transformer is alternating. The alternating waveform is shown in this form where we have positive half and negative half. So we are getting positive and negative peaks in one sinusoidal waveform. So one sinusoidal waveform is considered here where that waveform is given as an input to the primary side of the transformer. The secondary side of the transformer is a high voltage side where there is a rectifier placed. This rectifier conducts only in one direction. And then there is a capacitor which is considered or connected and the purpose of that capacitor is which acts as a filter. And then there is a connection of load resistance or there is a connection of load which is connected across the capacitor. Now, during positive half cycle, during positive half cycle, on the secondary side of this, the rectifier operates and charges the capacitor to its maximum value. So the voltage which is attained by this capacitor is maximum, that is V max. That is V max. Then when this particular side is positive, the other side of it is negative. So therefore, during this period, the capacity charges to its maximum value. In the other half cycle, the capacitor is discharged into the load. The capacitor get discharged into the load. It means during negative half cycle. So in the upper side is negative that won't operate that won't operate 
So I just represent this negative side with the red mark. So during this negative half cycle, when this side is positive, the diode won't operate and it acts as a reversed bias. So therefore the capacitor gets the time to get discharged across the load resistor. And hence we get the output of this pattern where it operates only for positive half cycle and during negative half cycle, the output is zero. So we get the output voltage of this pattern where we get positive half cycle and during negative half cycle, it discharges. And again, during next positive half cycle, it charges. And again, during negative half cycle, it discharges across the load. So this potential of difference is called as delta V. So this is the output with half wave rectifier and capacitor filter and capacitor filter. Now, the value of the capacitor C, which is chosen, is such that the time constant, the time constant is represented as tau, which is equal to C into RL is at least 10 times that of the period of the AC supply, that of the time period of the AC supply. The rectifier valve must have a peak inverse rating of at least two times V max. So this rectifier should have a maximum rating of two times V max. Now to limit the charging current, because when the capacitor charges, the capacitor charges with respect to the charging current. An additional resistance can be provided in series with the secondary of the transformer. So here there can be the resistance placed. Presently that resistance is not shown in the circuit diagram, but it can be connected in series so that that resistance can resist the high charging current flow. So this rectifier has a value of 2 Vmax rating and a resistance can be placed to limit the high charging current so that it cannot affect on the other circuitry equipments. So that's all with this half wave rectifier introduction and the waveform is shown here which can be easily understood. Now let us start with another circuit called as full wave rectifier circuit. In positive half cycle, the rectifier A conducts. So if I just consider there is a positive half cycle, I am representing it with the red mark and negative on the other side of the transformer winding. Again, we have an input which consists of positive and negative half cycles called as AC signal, which is given to the high voltage transformer and the output of it is called a high voltage output. That is of the transformer, it is high voltage output. High voltage output. So in positive half cycle, the rectifier A conducts. So this is positive and the other side of it is negative and therefore it conducts and charges the capacitor through this circuit. So when it charges the capacitor, the voltage of this capacitor becomes V max. Now during negative half cycle, so let us consider negative half cycle. I just draw and use some different representation for it. 
Now, during negative half cycle, this side becomes positive with respect to the other side of the secondary winding. During this period, rectifier B conducts. When this rectifier B conducts, capacitor doesn't get enough time to get discharge across RL and therefore it charges to the value of B rectifier. So the source transformer requires a center tap secondary with a rating of 2V because through center tap, all the potential get returned, all the charging currents get returned to this center tap and it should have a rating of 2V. So this particular capacitor now charges to the value of 2 half DC. In first half, we get positive waveform for rectifier A and second is due to the rectifier B. So for applications at high voltages of 50 kilovolt and above, the rectifier valves used are of special construction. Apart from the filament, the cathode and anode, they contain a protective shield or grid around the filament and the cathode. So now let us understand the waveform which is plotted for this. So when a full wave or even we have studied the half wave rectifier is used along with the smoothing capacitor. So this capacitor is called as ripple free filter or smoothing capacitor. The voltage on no load will be the maximum AC voltage. But when on load, the capacitor get charged from supply voltage and discharges, discharges into the load resistance. So we have this as load resistance, which is placed. Whenever the supply voltage waveform varies from peak value to zero value, these waveforms are shown in the diagram, in the figure, in the waveform. So when loaded, a fluctuation in the output DC voltage of delta V appears and is called a, a ripple voltage. The ripple voltage delta V is larger for half wave rectifier than that for a full wave rectifier since the discharge period in case of half wave rectifier is larger as shown in figure. So the discharge period in case of half wave rectifier is greater than the discharge for full wave rectifier. That discharge is represented as delta V. Even we can plot that discharge in this particular waveform as the AC waveform as an input given to the circuit. So this is waveform number one as AC input given to full wave rectifier. For positive half cycle, when rectifier A conducts, the capacitor charges to this and hence the output of the capacitor is of this pattern. When rectifier B conducts, the output of the rectifier from B is this much. So these are the output voltages for the respective rectifiers. And the combined effect when we combine both the output, both the results, the result is, is shown in this. That is the output voltage from the rectifier. So we can say that this is your voltage with respect to the period which is mentioned here. Now, in this case, again, the voltage reaches to this maximum value and due to this ripple, that discharges to this particular value. Again, it charges to this value, discharges to this and so on. So therefore, we get the ripple voltage, which is represented as del V. 
which is represented as del V. But this ripple voltage, which is shown as again delta V is less than the delta V in case of half wave rectifier. So half wave rectifier's delta V is more than the delta V of full wave rectifier. So this is the output result which we get for the next rectifier circuit called as full wave rectifier circuit. So let us stop this discussion for first two circuits that is half wave and full wave rectifier. Hope you people have understood the concept of half wave and full wave high voltage generation method and specifically it is high DC voltage. Thank you.